Hi, this is Mina from Social Media Tribe, the tribal leader as of today. <laughs> Going to be live on online prosperity show by Prosper, the amazing Prosper. And I will be sharing some social media tips that hopefully add value to small business owners out there. So see you soon. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I have brought you the tribe leader herself, uh, Mina. Mina, how are you doing today? I am doing amazing. Thanks for asking, Prosper. Fantastic. Now, I've called her the tribe leader because she is um, the head of uh, social media tribe that is actually empowering business people to pass on their message in the world. Um, as you can tell, we're always bringing in experts within their own realm, people that know a thing or two about our daily lives and how we can actually make a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And the reason why we've brought Mina, a um, social media strategist, is because her passion is actually to help businesses, big and small, to define their core message and to relay that message to their target audience in a creative, authentic, and effective way using social media um, as a platform. Now, Mina, I could go on and on and people could start liking, commenting, sharing, and tweeting this video already, but this is your realm and this is what you know best. Tell us a little bit about you and how you got the tribe started. I think I've been heading towards the tribe all my life. Um, I started with um, computer information systems, but it was always about how people interact over those systems, how do they communicate and how does that technology affect that? So a few years later, when obviously social media came along, I just saw the massive potential that it can have. And also coming from a small business background, I always thought that this social media is a game changer because now you don't need to buy airtime on TV or radio necessarily. And um, at the time also our uh, social media was mostly free. So for small businesses, all of a sudden, you have a platform, you have a channel, your own publishing channel, where you can broadcast your message anywhere in the world. You can just uh, start tweeting to someone uh, overseas or all over the world. So that was a massive game changer. I wanted to be part of it. And obviously being able to then empower other businesses to, to um, get their message out there. Absolutely. And thank you so much for that. Now, social media is very new i mean considered to everything else that we have had in terms of technology we've had cars for all you know over hundreds of years we've had the telephone for over hundreds of years but social media is just something that has just um you know come into our midst how do you find people are actually taking it on especially business people uh, that you deal with so I've started Social Media Tribe in 2011. So at the time, it wasn't, there was those few businesses that got it and they saw the opportunity and they were ready to run with it. And over the years, uh, I did have to ask, uh, answer the question often that, what, well, isn't that a fad? It's going to go away. Um, but it hasn't gone away. It's only been getting bigger. And now times have changed. And these days, I don't have to explain myself to most of the businesses. Everybody gets social media. So they understand that this is something that they will need to do for their business. It's just a matter of what is the best way that works for them. And that's where we can then help. Absolutely. And I like the fact that, um, you know, like you say, people had thought that social media was uh, fad and it still keeps going on and on. But we've also noticed that in um, the time that maybe these platforms started, there has been numerous that have come and gone and some that have stayed. Yeah. How do you know which one to actually latch on to and not invest your time as a business person? Because that does take time. Yeah, so we normally go, um, we don't jump on as the first person to the new platforms. We keep an eye on them. And once we have the proof that this is proven to work for businesses, we can actually see that this is generating business. That's when we start putting that in, into the strate strategic mix. Because if people haven't taken up the social media platform, who do you market there to? So you need to have people first. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought maybe people would want to build it until they, I mean, built it and then they would yeah. come. So it's, it's pretty good. So now 
one of the things that a lot of businesses find difficult is to measure the impact or the effect of what their social media efforts are actually doing. How do you address that um, to, to, to the people that you deal with? Yeah. So um, our focus is always um, it needs to bring business. Like we can obviously increase the brand awareness. That can be step one. Um, we can uh, make sure their message is reaching the right people. But always in the end, part of the strategy, we need to grow the business. So um, whether it is obviously there's the stats on social media, so we can quite well. Um, provide statistics of every campaign, how many people have seen them, uh, how many clicks have, been, have there been. But in the end, it's always if we offer something, how many leads are we generating, how many phone calls are we getting from the campaign. So it's always me measured by real results in the end. Absolutely. Now, part of the things that you actually help people is, is to create a message to their target audience in a creative, authentic and effective way. Um, if you have to actually stress authenticity online, uh, then that means the rest of the people are either faking it or they're either uh, not presenting themselves in an authentic way. Now that then becomes a buzzword to a lot of people. How can you actually measure or how do you know authenticity is prevalent or is present in any message that a business owner can actually be putting out? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I probably can't say it without, without knowing the people behind the message. That's that, so if I'm not working with them, I necessarily wouldn't be able to say that they are congruent in their message. But if we work with them, we make sure that that is what happens. Because I just find that there is nothing more powerful than when the message comes from the passion of the people behind the business and how they are there to make a difference in other people's lives. And it really comes from that, that authentic. I just find that that is such a irresistible fuel that if we can capture that in the online message and um, that's when you stand from the ground crowd you because you are unique in that field you're communicating it in a very energetic and strong way and then that's what then attracts there's a little bit of that law of attraction that i believe in happening that it is the energy in the message that really attracts the people so you can feel that uh, when it's right absolutely you've written a book um that, um, you know, is, is what probably got me or got my attention to you. And um, it's entitled, you know, In the Heart of Social Media Marketing. Just briefly tell us what it is about and who it's targeted for and what should people expect when they um, make a purchase or read that book. Well, it really comes back to the authentic and that's um, it, so basically um, it is for uh, business owners um, understanding the importance of the message when it is that um, how to communicate um, uh, who your services are for in a like I say authentic way which means that we really dissect um, who your services are for what makes your, dif what your business different and what are those shared values and um, uh, and, and beliefs that then you can connect over because the magic on social media is the connection so that's what it's really talking about that it's so important um, it's not about the numbers of trying to just um, get your message as as many people as you want it starts with that but if you don't connect with that message you really don't get that many results uh, people are looking for more meaning in their interactions with their businesses. Uh, they really want to buy into something that they believe in and then that aligns with their values. And that's, that's what it, that is based on. And that's how, how we then work with our clients um, uh, from then on. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, thank you so much for, I mean, you know, being cooperative uh, and also helping other businesses to actually shine online. Because um, social media is, is something that is like a minefield right now for a lot of people. And some people don't quite know where to begin or where to, where to start. Right now, there's probably three or four major uh, platforms that you could you know, recommend to, to people to get started on. Which one would you think that people should clearly um, you know, uh, stake their claim in in order to reach out and be authentic to the audience that they want to reach out to? Yep. So um, I 
um, so obviously it all starts with the where the clients are. So we need to be clear on where that business is or that person's ideal audience is. So if they are going to be on Twitter, then I would say Twitter. Um, so it all depends on um, where we are reaching their audience. But video is obviously, it's the richest media. It's the best way of communicating and building that um, authentic connection and um, sharing information of services. So whether it's video on, um, on Facebook, on Instagram or YouTube, those are probably, probably the best tips that I can give. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, does it mean these days that all we just have to look at is, you know, the response that we have from the market or if it's not working, we have to then move our strategy to something else or does the whole strategy that you help people with have a lot to do with persistence and consistency? I think anything you start, um, like my saying is that I always say, you can only fail if you quit. And if you really believe in what you are doing, um, you're not going to just try once and give it up. We would, nobody would, none of us would walk if we had given up the first time we fell over. So obviously, if that the persistence is part of um, that um, develops us as people and then helps us master the craft, whatever it is that we decide to do, you can't be expert in, in any interest industry in a uh, in couple of days um, time. It takes years to really master what it is you're doing. So look, even in social media, it's not going to be the one hit wonder so you're learning more about the audience you're learning more more about how you best communicating so it's an evolution and also trying different things give you feedback you can't fail if you just you just consider whenever something doesn't work that's feedback that didn't work let's try something else absolutely and um, <clears throat> I'm taking from what you're saying that you know if you really want um, you know brain surgery you wouldn't go um, you know, to a farmer because they definitely wouldn't yeah. know what to do. Uh, yeah. Now, in the event that somebody has refused to be, did you say a one-hit wonder or a one-click wonder? Mm. So in I the event that somebody yeah. refuses to be a one-click yeah. wonder, how yeah. can they get a hold of you <laughs> so that they can... Um, um, you know, enhance um, and empower or, you know, or share their message to, to the world or to the people that are receptive to it? I think the best way of getting to know how we work as a social media tribe. So I have a um, team of experts working with me and we, we can do the full service of social media, content creation, video, uh, photos and, and copywriting and managing um, campaigns so we can do all that um, but I think the best uh, way is looking at um, my book um, it is available on all the online um, book um, stores so um, book depository Amazon um, a few others will have it as well so it's called in the heart of social media marketing by Mina Sons well, so that's probably the best way because we like to work with businesses we'll understand where we're coming from and work on the joint values. So if that resonates, uh, we'll be happy to uh, see where that can lead to. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, obviously, Mina, you would understand, um, you know, in the, in the past sort of three to four years, um, the, the state of social media has totally changed and nothing has stayed constant. Algorithms are changing daily. Yeah. And um, yeah. the big companies are stealing from other small companies and making, you know, they're creating stories out of, um, you know, thin air, <laughs> so to speak. Um, yeah. You know, th that whole confusion that's happening around uh, social media. Do you think this is something that will continue um, or is it something that we should follow or should we just actually just concentrate on creating for and relating to our audience? Mm, a lot of questions there, a lot of big questions there. And I would probably start with the last one. Obviously, it is about relating to the audience, building that connection with them, building that relationship in, in a real way, because that's what builds business in my experience. Obviously, I've been, um, so, Social Media Tribe's been around for eight years. So I've seen 
at least five times. Facebook's been about to end. Everything is going to die. And that's happened so many times. And I, that's what I try to tell sometimes when I oh, so what's happening with Facebook? Well, this, this is probably the fifth time that they're setting, saying that this is all going, the world's going to end on Facebook. Um, but it goes its ups, ups and downs. And look, there is always a chance that Facebook isn't there tomorrow. Who knows? They might decide that um, in, in the Congress in, in the US that this is just too risky business overall and change the rules. But then we do something else. I think um, how I look at it, when there's change, there's always an opportunity. And that's where you can always then um, seize the next opportunity. Because if things stay the same, it's really hard to then, when everybody catches on, there is a point where there's a saturation of doing things in certain ways. So I think that, that change is so important. You just focus on doing what you're doing, uh, connecting with your people, and then finding whatever channel is the way um, that is best at the moment. Absolutely. I love that answer because it's very empowering because some people really get caught up in the yeah. politics of what's happening on a platform and they forget to actually create for and relate to yeah. their audience. And if you're watching this right now, you can actually tell that Mina has the passion in helping businesses big or small. And, you know, after working with her, you can actually define your core message and relay that message to your target audience in a creative, authentic and effective way. Now, Mina, I can't thank you enough for the time that you spent with us and the knowledge and value you've dropped on the show today. Thank you so much for having me, Prosper. It's been an absolute pleasure to have a chat with you. Um, you're doing awesome work, so thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.